empty She screamed, Lando, you the shit going win, that's why I'm cramming Big dog, I'm the nigga in the pool, bitch Drop the plate, man, got time for that bullshit I'm a smooth ass nigga, I be coolin' What the fuck? Everything from Walmart and Burlington, fuck it I hit hard, bars, you can't tell me nothing Spit fire, burning shit like a fucking toaster Your main bitch wanna pull me closer What's good, Mo Mafia? It's your girl Mo, and I'm back with another banger video. I had to give y'all a little drip check real quick, you know. It's feeling good, the sun was shining. You know how that go, y'all know how that go. I'm coming to y'all today with an updated Q&A video. I know everybody have questions. From the look of these questions, nosy, period. But I love y'all. Y'all Mo Mafia, what would I do without y'all? Gang squad. I'm going to go to the post. I made a post in the community tab. Okay, let me just say this now. Y'all, if I want to communicate with y'all, whether it's with a Q&A, whether it's with a, a idea, a poll, anything, it's going to be in my community tab. Always check the community tab. If you just randomly like, dang, Mo ain't post. Maybe I'm thinking of an idea and I need your opinion. Shoot over to that community tab. Drop a comment, let me know what's up, okay? If it's a voting poll, vote. Let me know what you wanna do. Can we just admire how good I'm looking in this shirt? Period. Anyway, I said I'm doing an updated Q&A. So, I wanna try to drop questions. I've seen a lot of the same question. I'm gonna answer all the questions, y'all. But it's just like, do y'all all have to ask me that same question? I look like a whole donut right now. But it's all good. We're going to start off light, all right? Can you continue the food reviews? The answer to that is not no, but the answer is not yes, simply because I'm trying to change my eating habits, and I don't want to be doing food reviews for, like, restaurants and real greasy stuff. Like, it's... It's hard to do food reviews when you're trying to change the way you eat. So I'm not going to say no. Maybe I can do one every here and there just, you know, as a treat to y'all and me. Um, so, yeah. I mean, I don't know yet. Okay? But, you know. What's one thing you will go back in your past and change? I'm sorry. I forgot to say who asked the question. I am attempt asked, will I do the food reviews? Kia... I think I'm pronouncing that right. I asked one thing I would go back to my past and change. Nothing. The reason I say nothing is because your life, everything that happens in your life, your life itself is made up of everything you've been through. I wouldn't change anything, nothing, not one thing, because I know that it's part of my journey. It's part of my plan. So I wouldn't change nothing. I, I, I had a pretty good life, too. You know what I'm saying? I'm just not out here bad. You know what I'm saying? Everything ain't good right now. Everything ain't terrible. But I wouldn't change anything for that very reason because I know that it's all part of my journey. It's all, my book is already written. I just got to read it. Supreme Taya, are you happy? Yes, I'm happy. I'm very happy. I feel good. Every day I wake up in the morning, I thank God that I'm here, and I smile. That's the first thing I do. Then I brush my teeth. Beastie, the three god of Fortnite, asks, if you could eat one thing your whole life, what would it be? And you'll get it for free with a Popeye's chicken sandwich. <laughs> if I could eat one thing in my life for free for the rest of my life, I don't know. Chicken. Free chicken. Free chicken, baked, fried, boiled, grilled, it don't matter. Free chicken. I love chicken. All right, we're going to get a little spicy. I know y'all waiting on that. Did, oh, Corina Johnson, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, and shout out to everybody with the questions, said, did she check up on you? No. All right, moving right along. Lexi Sweet said, did she have those kids in a previous relationship 
and you just called them your kids or did y'all plan those kids together? As most of y'all know, a lot of y'all knew though, when me and her met, Logan was eight months. So she had him before, when we met. Ava was planned. We planned Ava together. I'm not going to ask that question, y'all. Y'all clowning. Angel Harris said, what made you start a YouTube channel? Y'all know what's crazy? I've always been a goofball. I've always been super funny. Like, even in high school, middle school, elementary school, I was always the class clown. And you know that up until about maybe, I want to say, five years ago, I didn't even know what YouTube was. Like, I didn't even know... Maybe a little bit, maybe seven, eight years ago. I didn't know what YouTube was, except you go on there, you play music, period. That's it. My cousin, shout out to my cousin, Kavina. I love you. I miss you. Uh, like, one day I went over her house and... Oh, I thought it was... I thought it was blurry. But one day I went over her house and we was chilling. She cooked, woo-woo-woo. And she was watching an ASMR video, somebody just eating. And I'm like, what is you watching? She like, YouTube. I'm like, why is you watching people eat? You weird. I clowned her. I clowned her damn near. Why I find myself watching people eat the next day? Found it to be so intriguing and, and so entertaining. Out of nowhere, I'm just watching people eat. Then I went further until I started watching DDG, Kennedy. I started watching... Chris and Queen, I start watching Armand and Trey. I just start watching a whole bunch of people. Jazz, um, M and Vaughn, like they whole crew. Uh, just start watching all type of YouTubers. And I'm like, they lit. Like they basically get paid to put their lives on camera and entertain. Like most of them funny. But I'm like, boom, I can do this. You know what I'm saying? Like this might be my niche. This might be the niche for me. So I start, I just, I don't know, I just start doing it. Terry T. Dub Washington asks, have you truly moved on? Um, I don't want to say I truly moved on because there's nobody I'm like with. So I'm not backpedaling. You know what I'm saying? But I haven't moved on either, if that makes sense. I, I don't want to sound weird, but I haven't moved on for the simple fact that I'm single. I'm chilling. You know what I'm saying? I'm not on nothing. I'm just having fun talking to people. Hit me up, baby. <laughs> I'm just playing. I'm just playing. Danetta McKinney asked, would you have a long-distance relationship? Y'all, I don't know. I tried that in my younger days. Like, I was talking to this girl way in a whole nother state. It didn't work. I don't know if I was just childish then and didn't have the right mind frame to be able to do that. But I don't know. Um, You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm the type of person I need attention. I want to see you. I want to buy you stuff. I want to go places. I want to chill. I want to kick it. I want to laugh. I want to dig in your nose. Like... It's weird. I need you there. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know. So, right under that question, she asked another question. I'm going to just do this question, too, because I know y'all want to know. If y'all know who apologized, would you take her back? No. But I'm going to tell y'all something. I'm not the type of person who just, like... It, like, considering what happened, I know y'all probably like, oh, i never talk to her again. i never talk to her again. But that's not who I am. You feel me? That's just not who I am. The fact that we have kids together, I know I'm going to have to deal with her probably for the rest of my life. You know what I'm saying? And that's a choice because I don't have to. But I know I'm going to have I don't. I, I don't know I'm going to have to, but it's something that usually is gonna have to happen if that makes sense um you know what i'm saying i would be i have already forgiven her 
Like, already. I'm over it. You know what I'm saying? I'm moving forward. I know a lot of good... I know everything happened for a reason. You know what I'm saying? So, it's like... No, I wouldn't. But I'm not going... I don't hate her. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm disappointed, but I don't hate her. And, I'm, and I already forgive her. So, it's like, just... Allow me to have, you know, that connection with my babies and we good. Okay, Cooking with Deb asks, have you seen the babies? No, I haven't seen them. It's been about a week and a half now I haven't seen them. I'm kind of salty and broke up about that, but I know that in time I'm going to see them. You know what I'm saying? I just got to give, you know, give people their space and let things happen. I'm like, I put it in God's hands days ago. So I'm just going to roll with the punches. Liz B asked, are you looking for a new girl or just focusing on yourself? I'm focusing on myself right now. Like, I'm not looking for nothing. Like, if it come, it come. But right now, I'm just chilling. I'm just kicking it. I'm just having fun. Like, all, like I've been in relationships my whole life since I was 18. Like, before that, it was petty, but real-life relationships, one for six, one for one for seven, then one for six. So, now is my time to shine. You feel me? I'm chilling. I'm not, no, I'm chilling. Good Vibes Only Day Family asks, what are some of your pet peeves? <sighs> Let me see. Some of my pet peeves are liars, people who steal and help you look for your shit. Um, and negative energy. Like, period. Like, if you got, if, if you got negative energy, show, show me that first. G give me that. Don't trick me with the positive you and then become this whole other person. So, those are my pet peeves. Ooh, I'm sorry if I say this wrong. Tutoria Harrison asks, what are some of your goals you have for the next year? Some of my goals for the next year include, like, just becoming somebody that anybody and everybody can reach out to and just connect with. I want to connect with so many beautiful souls, like, when it comes to YouTube and just people, period, you know? I just want my path to broaden. I want to open up businesses. Um, I want to collab with some of the biggest YouTubers. Like, I just want to do a lot of stuff. It's a lot, y'all. My brain, y'all going to get me to thinking when I get to overthinking and stuff. It just be too much. So, yeah, I want. it's a lot of stuff I want to do. And I'm going to take y'all along with me the whole way. Period. I'm going to do a couple more, y'all, because I don't want this video to be too long. This question is player. It's uh, from Truth Speaker. When you and your partners together, what y'all do to fuck up the city? We go to the bar. We hit the uh, casino. We go out to eat. <laughs> and we just act a fool. Ride around, listen to music, singing. You know, we... I'm kind of lame. I like Dave and Buster, stuff like that. Like... I know people that be like, girl, I'm gonna hit the club. No, I'm not into that. I, I wanna, I'd rather chill at home, pop a bottle, play my own music, save money, and dance right there in the kitchen. Period. All right, this is a good one. From Nyla Neely. How do you maintain your peace of mind when hard times arrive? That's a good question. Um, recently, I started meditating. Like, and tapping because a lot of people don't know well a lot of people are about to know I suffer from really it's not really 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 bad but I suffer from anxiety so sometimes I just feel like something bad gonna happen or you know what I'm saying like I always worry about nothing like Mo you're okay and about I want to say about a year ago it got real bad and I, you know what I'm saying? I lost my job behind it. A whole bunch of crazy stuff happened. But I learned to meditate. I learned to change what I eat. Because people don't know that what you eat really, really has a lot to do with how you feel on the inside and mentally. I learned to drink more water. You know what I'm saying? Laugh. 
make videos for y'all. YouTube, not only does YouTube help y'all, and that's why when I talk about it, I get so passionate. You know what I'm saying? Because me making videos for y'all helps the me. And when I make videos for y'all, it help y'all. So it's like a two-way street type of thing. So, yeah. That's what I do when hard times arrive, and that's how I cope. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications. Hit that bell so y'all know when I'm dropping my bangers. I got a prank coming for y'all. A lot of y'all said y'all wanted me to drop it today, but I'm going to drop it tomorrow because this is dropping today. Today is Thursday. It's like 2.45 o'clock. Mo, that didn't make sense, but that's okay. I love y'all, Mo Mafia. And Mo Mafia, we finna get lit because we the game.